Hello friends, my name is Palash and today we are going to discuss about the F0 value belongs to moisture relation cycle. So before going uh, towards my main presentation, I would request you all uh, to uh, <coughs> subscribe my channel, press and select the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming new videos. Thank you. So it's very important to understand few definitions what uh, I will go through uh, in the slides. First of all sterilizations. What is sterilization? It's a suitably designed, validated and controlled process that inactivates or remove viable microorganism in a product until the sterility is obtained so it's it's very important so how uh, so what is sterility sterility is the absence of viable microorganism as defined uh, by the sterility assurance level which is equal to less than 10 to the minus 6 and how we obtain the sterilization through through a validations what is validations Establish documented evidence that provide a high degree of assurance uh, that a specific process will constantly produce a product meeting its predetermined specifications and quality attributes. So sterilization is a process. So sterility is a state or the stage we appear after the successful sterilization of the process and uh, it's happened through a control uh, validation technique so let's uh, go through the process a little bit steam sterilization is achieved by the heat transfer during the condensation of the water from a saturated buffer phase on the surface of the sterilized item when Items are open or wrapped are sterilized in the direct contact with the steam. The hydrating effect of the condensation add to the sterilizing effect. For direct steam exposure, it is essential that the items are fully penetrated by the saturated steam, uh, which is uh, like uh, free from air and other non-condensable gases. Steam sterilization is performed in autoclave, which is like a pressure vessel designed, admit, uh, designed to admit or generate the steam continuously and then remove the condensate from the chamber and maintain the pressure and the temperature at the same time and it controls with the level. Suitable sterilization cycles uh, are chosen to be uh, compatible with the items to be sterilized and the loading configurations. Where the air displacement uh, from the chamber by gravity, the item to be sterilized are designed to allow the removal of the air uh, and uh, are arranged within the autoclave to prevent the formation of the uh, in inaccessible air pockets. Where the air is removed by the vacuum cycles followed by the steam pulses, uh, it is assured that the items are not uh, affected by the evacuation process. Uh, for pressure sensitive products, uh, in, in closed container, the saturated steam sterilization may not be possible. So we talk about the gravity cycle for the, uh, for the liquid loads, uh, we talk about the vacuum cycle for the porous loads, and we talk about a little bit about the uh, terminally sterilized product which is not the main focus of these presentations uh, and, and we don't really use the saturated steam sterilizations on, on those products. The reference cycle for the steam sterilization is 15 minutes at 121 degrees saturated steam um, determined in the coldest position of the chamber. So now <clears throat> we'll go through uh, some of uh, and the applications where we can apply this F0 so during sterilization process as we discussed like we sterilized machine parts, uh, product filters, garment, 
packing materials like rubber stopper and flip up seals. Uh, in laboratory, we sterilize glaciers uh, and uh, we sterilize media to be used for the microbiological testing. And apart from that, when we use the SIP process, I mean, uh, place process uh, so for lyophilizer or product processing vessels like holding vessels and then also it is essential uh, we should uh, calculate the F0 values because both are the saturated steam uh, sterilization process. So now let's uh, see about uh, how, how you will be talking about the steam sterilization uh, for the direct contact products. The process uh, lethality of the temperature other than 121 can be calculated to determine the uh, lethality equivalent to the to that provided at 121. So here the, the question is like uh, so we can calculate the lethality which is other than 121 degrees centigrade. The moisture sterilization process efficacy is not intrinsically uh, linked uh, to the target temperature of 121 which is simply the Celsius conversion of 121. Uh, 250 Fahrenheit and other temperature can be used. So let's uh, move towards the EP. Uh, so for EP, sterilization process can be operated at the temperature lower than the standard 121 for the longer exposure time or at the higher temperature for the shorter exposure time. So in both the cases they are talking about, so we can use the temperature lower and higher where we can make some equivalency to understand uh, so how much uh, the F0 considering the standard temperature 120 degrees centigrade. So let's uh, move towards uh, and understand like what is F0 actually. So F0 value, uh, for a, uh, it's uh, quoted from the European guidance, F0 value of a saturated steam sterilization process is the lethality expressed in terms of equivalent time in minute <coughs> at a temperature 121 degree uh, centigrade delivered uh, by, the, by the process uh, to the load uh, in, in the container with reference to the microorganism uh, possessing a theoretical Z value of 10. And whereas PD is talking about uh, a term used uh, with the specific reference conditions and uh, when we, we talk about F0, our reference temperature is 121 degrees centigrade, the Z is uh, Z value is 10 degree, uh, are used to calculate the equivalent lethality. For example, when the Z value uh, of the BI is 10, and the, and the cycle with uh, the F0 uh, equal to 8 minutes. So means uh, to like um, the meaning is like the process provided a lethality of 8 minutes of 121 degrees centigrade. And, and parallelly when we run a process of like uh, 25 minutes at 161 degrees centigrade, uh, it also provided F0 of 8 minutes. So, we can see in, in both the cases, uh, uh, we have uh, provided the F0 of 8 minutes. So, uh, uh, let's, uh, we'll see the formula of F0. So, F0 is equal to uh, delta T summation of 10 to the power T mi minus 121. Uh, by Z, where we are considering Z is 10 degree uh, centigrade temperature for that and T is the temperature for the sterilized uh, product at the time of uh, T. So it can be 121, it can be 115, it can be 130 and del T is the uh, interval between the uh, two next measurement of the T. So now uh, I will show you this is the uh, formula of lethality rate. The three T is, uh, is equal to like summation of 10 to the power T minus 121 by Z. T is like uh, the temperature we select for uh, sterilizations. So when uh, we uh, calculate, uh, so when when we uh, consider the total time of the sterilizations, then it becomes F0. Uh, we'll see like in our next uh, slides. So let's talk about the cycle. Uh, this is uh, this is an example from the vacuum cycle. So we can see uh, this is one uh, where uh, the cycle is started. Uh, let me take the pointer. The cycle is started, and this is like T1. This is the start time of the steam injection into the chamber. Uh, so here we injected the steam. That's how the temperature is getting rise. T2. Uh, it's it's the vacuum pulses. We we 
uh, pulled up the vacuum from the chamber uh, so to evacuate the airs and this the airs so again uh, so uh, it tries uh, with the, so it is multiple pulses uh, it helps to uh, recover the airs uh, from the chamber which is like uh, um, hidden into into your um, uh, articles like if it may be your garments it may be your filters so this pulses will help you to evacuate all the airs from uh, in the articles then t3 is the start time of the exposure and this slope we will got like hitting hitting phase then exposure uh, then t4 is the end of exposure and t5 is the cooling cooling it's it's a cooling and drying process we can say like we, we pulled up with the vacuum again once again t6 is the time of the drying phase so it's it's a vacuum and hold of the vacuum so it is getting the your article is getting dry and two is uh, the end of cycle so this is the more or less like um, we can say like HPHV cycle high pressure high vacuum cycle example so uh, this portion uh, we will uh, maximize and see in the next slide so let's cut this portion and let's move to the next slide so let's see like this this curve is denoting the heating this is the sterilization this is the cooling and when we talk about the f0 uh, <coughs> we cannot see the value because it's quite small uh, but i will elaborate in the next table so in heating it is more than 100 degree and here uh, uh, the system is started calculating the f0 values uh, till it is like 120 or it's reached 121 in 120 when it's one uh, reaches 121 the f0 value is 1 and it will be like in, in decimal places like uh, and in 121 uh, it will be 1f0 value uh, so again this is the whole time and again when it is cooling down till uh, 100 it will calculate the f0 value so these are the additional f0 uh, f0s which you will include to your process as well so you will, you will have a lethality from each uh, time point and when we calculate uh, the total lethality it will have your uh, total f0 for example uh, what we have discussed like this is the heating phase this is the exposure phase we did not consider the cooling phase here but for example this is a good example we can see like uh, suppose this is a temperature probe one and we calculate the lethality from the temperature probe we calculate the f0 value from the temperature probe uh, <coughs> so and and similarly this is the temperature probe 2 this is the lethality from the temperature probe 2 and this is the f0 uh, like f0 value from temperature probe 2 so we can see like the temperature is getting increased here is like 121 our f0 uh, like our lethality is 1 and our uh, f physical is 4.53 it's a, it's accumulated one we can see like this is uh, 0.1 this is 0.2 so it's become a, like 0 0.3 again this is 3 it becomes 6 so uh, this is the summation of the lethality as we talked earlier so that's how the lethality being calculated and end of the cycle you can able to know like uh, which is the highest or maybe the lowest step zero of uh, in, in between each sensors and from that we can um, uh, able to understand like uh, where uh, the steam penetration is quite difficult because they will get the less F0. Uh, thank you friends. So I will I try to explain uh, the F0 value uh, in the slides. Maybe in, in my upcoming presentation I will talk about uh, the users and benefits and applications of biological indicators uh, because uh, because of the thermal as well as biological indicator along this this both are important uh, for the sterilization cycles thank you very much